Let's do some other stories now. The National Identification Authority has re-emphasized that though the birth certificate can be used to acquire the Ghana card, that document in itself is inadequate to pass as proof of one's nationality. Speaking on the Super Morning Show with Winston Amon, Joy 99.7 FM, the Executive Secretary of the Authority, Professor Kenatefa, intimated the controversy surrounding the use of the birth certificate to secure the National Identification Card has been settled by the Supreme Court and must be complied with without any reservation. This comes at the back of the ongoing mop of exercise underway in various parts of the country. What you need to get registered is a passport or a birth certificate or in the absence of these two documents to be vouched for. Now, let me quickly add that by the Supreme Court decision on the oh. birth uh, certificate issue, the birth certificate is not an identity document. And that distinction is clear. A national health insurance card, a voter ID card, a Ghana card, these are identity documents because they are documents that you, in partnership, you, the holder of that document, in partnership with the state, create using your biometrics and your alphanumeric data, that is your, your biographic data, oh. name, date of birth, those kinds of things. Now, the birth certificate as a document does not identify you. It is information provided about you and recorded, yes, by agents of the state in relation to you. It does not bear your photograph. It does not bear your fingerprints. It does not identify you. It tells the story of the circumstances of your birth, your parentage, your na nationality even, and your, the location of your birth as claimed by persons who compiled that data on you. Hmm. Now, for us as National Identification Authority, our law says we should use the birth certificate. But we have the Supreme Court decision that is binding on us. Okay. Now, when people go to the registration center, because our law also requires us to capture every state-issued ID card and document, you go with your birth certificate as, if you went with the birth certificate as your primary document, we will still interrogate. Our staff are trained to investigate, to make the necessary inquiries to be satisfied that the person standing before them is a Ghanaian. Where they are, sat where they are not so satisfied, they do not register you. Let me give you a case. Okay. I was in Aflao about two weeks ago. A gentleman and his son were there. The man says his parents died when he was 10. He was born in Kumasi and he has since relocated to Aflao. The person who vouched for him to get his Ghana card as a father, the person is not related to him, but when he got it, he claimed a relationship. But when I asked him the question, he doesn't even know the name of the person. Hmm. Now, his son, who had presented himself for registration because he's over 15, but under 17, I mean, he was about 16 year old, years old. No problem with his that. But he was holding a birth certificate. The date of birth on it, completely different from the health insurance card, which bore his photograph, and which, as a 2D barcode card, also had his basic biometrics uh, in, in, on the card. His photograph is on the health insurance card, but his date of birth on the health insurance card is different from the birth certificate that he was holding. The father could not um, vouch for any of the claims contained on the birth certificate. This boy was an infant when the birth certificate was created. So it is a dilemma. I am, I am comfortable with the decision of the Supreme Court. I don't see the mm. controversy, I mean, the, the, the issue there. But for us, when you go to our registration center, we interview, we interrogate, okay. and be satisfied so, that you are. If you are not, and you, uh, you insist you are a Ghanaian, we will have someone, we will have you have someone or some persons come and vouch for you as a Ghanaian.